Now to a survival story. A family of four is telling their story about nearly drowning on the river to send a potentially life-saving message. And KCR 3's Mike DeSell spoke with that family. Joins us live now along the American River with their story and their important message tonight, Mike. Yeah, we are standing live along the American River just downstream from Gilligan's Island. And this raft accident happened when the raft hit a rock sitting out in the middle of the river like that one. And if you think that the message of this story is the same old just wear a life jacket, think again. This is the moment this afternoon the Rice family got to meet the men who rescued them. It was, it was scary. A moment this wife, mother of two, and owner of a Great Dane puppy called a blessing. God was definitely there with us. That's because this weekend, this family, just like this foursome that we saw today, set off on a day of rafting down the American River. But in an instant, their raft hit a boulder in the middle of the river and began to deflate. I remember hitting the rock, and there was probably about four seconds between when we hit the rock and between when I was in the river tumbling. And then Nate and I got thrown into the water. I've never feared for my life like yeah. that before. The boat kind of collapsed in on on top of them. The current was so strong, and I got caught up in the the raft. It kind of formed a taco around me up against the rock. Luckily, this helicopter, the Placer County Sheriff's helicopter seen hours earlier on this home video, was nearby and rescued the family from water they had been stranded in for up to 30 minutes. It was in the Frigid. 50s. It was cold. And they say there's only one reason this family survived. I'll wear a life vest. It literally yeah. saved my life. Had it not have been for it, I wouldn't be here today. But as important as that message is, this mother also wants to warn anyone hitting the river to read the fine print about any raft you might buy in a retail or big box store because it may not be safe for use on the river. Just because I had a picture on it that looked like it was safe, it wasn't. It just folded like a taco around me. I would have died if it weren't for the life vest. Now back here live, this family stressed you don't need any special kind of life jackets when you're out here on the river. In fact, they got their life jackets as part of the free program by stopping by fire stations and simply borrowing them for free. Those were the life jackets they had on. Now also as part of the story, I ask rescue crews, what impact, if any, is the drought having on the frequency of water rescues? And you know what? While the stats say, may suggest one thing, rescue crews say they may mask the potential dangers. More on that part of the story coming up tonight at 6, live along the American River. I'm Mike Tissell, KCLRA 3 News. Mike, I'm just curious, did you ask them at all about the type of raft that is safe to use down our local rivers? Well, again, if you go to uh, an REI or a sporting goods type store, you're going to notice on the packaging uh, that that is specifically made for river rafting. However, mm -hmm. if you go to a, you know those stores that have the uh, the boxes with the pictures of rafts uh, apparently on rivers or near rocks, mm -hmm. you'll notice a small print in the corner. It says this is not a life-saving flotation device, and that should be your indication. That's more of a pool toy and not something to take out here on the river. Really important lessons for all of us, especially this time of year. Mike DeSell, thank you for the live report.